you were talking about the motivation you saw amongst the civilians when you were going back through France. Yeah. And so what did you see? Well, you said one. I, I, I don't know. I can't explain the feeling I had when I see the people and, the, and you speak of um, motivation about the people in France, the civilian population in France and Germany, and be a, they a typical family living in a house, and many houses were bricks or um, they were older, probably stone, or uh, there was very few frame houses, like wooden frame houses, mostly. Yeah. A lot of brick houses. And I say, they were probably, the house was intact, and one artillery shell or a bomb, 20 minutes later, they wouldn't have anything. The house would be gone, probably part of their family. They were, they were fortunate if, and, and I would see it or sometimes right after it happened that they'd standing there just staring. Mm -hmm. they, wouldn't even, they didn't even talk. They'd probably in such a shock that it wouldn't take. And I hiked through and saw these civilians just standing in this rubble what some, that used to be their homes and houses. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, this is, this is war, of course. This war is, it is worse. Well then, maybe months or whatever later, when we came back through France after the war, so we were working our way back through Germany and France, and we'd go through some of these villages. And I'd see people sitting on a stool or a box or whatever they had to sit on, sitting in this pile of rubble with a, like a chipping hammer, Mm -hmm. And they take the bricks and chip the mortar off and clean it off, the ones they could salvage that weren't broken, and stack them in a neat pile. Mm -hmm. Piles of bricks, little piles of bricks all over. They grab another brick and they sit there, tap, 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 clean off that brick, salvage, put that on the pile. And I, was, I was looked at them and I said, how, how could you get enough motivation to sit and look at this and even get started. How in mm -hmm. the world were they able to get started when it looked like it was impossible to get all these piles of rubble, mm -hmm. ma make something of it so they could rebuild the house. And I thought, there we have, it took a matter of minutes to completely destroy this building and they'd probably spend years trying to make a new home. Mm -hmm. Now what role those people to do this, rather than just walk off and leave it, that, of course they didn't have any choice, they didn't have any place to go. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I, if I wished I'd had a camera then, I could have taken pictures of some of this, the people would really get a first-hand knowledge of what war does to the civilians' mm -hmm. population, women and kids and old people, and they're standing without and they had no place to go to say, I'm going to go to the insurance company and they're going to pay me insurance and I'll get a contract coming and rebuild there. There was nothing like that. They were completely on their own trying to salvage their life and, and probably part of their family is gone or missing or, mm -hmm. and to find water and food. So, so if you see that, it's no uh, wonder that they become completely anti-war to see the suffering of the civilian population. Mm -hmm. Whether they're enemy or whether they were allies, it was both French and Germans, same. So, when you talk about motivation, now how did they, were they able to build up their motivation enough to even start on something like that? Hmm. That's something I would never, I can just like, I took a picture of it, I can just, I can just see it. It's like somebody stored a, mm -hmm. a picture right in your mind, you know, it's so vivid. Yeah. So, that's probably one instance 
that um, you can talk about what the civilians went through. There's many more I can talk about, but that's probably enough for now.